Back in the day, you could use them to make a phone call or buy something at the dime store. But today, you probably don't give a dime much thought. A uh, dime is still enough, though, to impact some household budgets, especially if you spend enough of them. Here's ABC 6 News reporter Dan Conrad. People take for granted a dime is a dime, but if you multiply it out, a dime can be a dollar very quickly. And for some families in the Austin School District, those dimes could add up one lunch at a time. Well, this year the elementaries and the high school are each being raised one dime. Um, the middle levels, grades five through eight, is staying steady. It's the Austin School District's way of moving closer to a federal regulation that school districts need to bring the cost of a full pay meal more in line with the reimbursements they get to cover the cost of a free meal. A reimbursement for a free lunch is approximately like three dollars and 30 odd cents and so right now a high school student this year will be paying uh, 240 for a lunch. An elementary student will be paying 220 and the middle ages will be paying 230. And in a school district where roughly 60 percent of students qualify for free lunch based on family income. Sometimes uh, we don't know when they go back home if they're gonna eat healthy or not. Those dimes can add up. We do have families that maybe miss qualifying by a hundred dollars a year. A hundred dollars a year does not go very far in buying lunch for three to four children, as you know. So those are the families that I lose sleep over. Right now, because all the healthy food that we're giving, we're so lucky that if any child feels uh, hungry, it helps a lot. It helps every student. Dan Conrad, ABC 6 News.